welcome. Today I'm going to be trying out some products by Salesea, mainly their 3D resin detergent, which is of course just another type of cleaning agent that you can use to clean your resin prints with. They also have their own resin and I'm going to start with the resin and just do a test print until I get some good settings on it and then I'm going to print the same thing out of it as well as various other resins that I have and then I'm going to clean each one using the provided detergent and in alcohol and see if there's really that much of a difference. They do recommend in this mixture that you don't go any higher than one to one ratio. I imagine that means you could use less of this per water if you want, but to get the maximum cleaning, I'm gonna go ahead and do one to one and also it's easier to mix that way. It is interesting that it's in a square bottle. Not that it matters. Uh, also, I should point out, for those of you that 3D print a lot, you notice that when you print with plastics and filaments, they're measured in kilograms by weight, right? Same thing with resin. Grams, kilograms, it's, it's measured by weight, not by milliliters or liters like you would expect a liquid to be. The same is true for the detergent. So just make sure that you know that you're getting 1500 grams, not 1500 milliliters, right? So you're gonna need a few of these if you're gonna fill a, a big washing station. I'm not gonna be using my washing station because I don't wanna have to change out back and forth between alcohol and this. I'm just gonna mix this. And I'm gonna use baggies like I've done before and put them in an ultrasonic cleaner. It does make it easier to mix maybe by having a handle. That's kind of weird. A square bottle as opposed to the round bottles. Not that that matters at all. It's just a packaging choice. This is the gray. I don't know if they have any other colors available yet, but the gray is what they sent me. There's a close-up of the color, still covered in resin, but a decent gray. And here are the finished test models. They look really good. Those settings are okay. The only thing I would maybe change if I was printing stuff directly on the plate without using supports is maybe lower the, the bottom exposure time. I would like to have at least another one or two of these holes open rather than being sealed completely through it on the bottom layer. Okay, we have all of our test goblins printed now, and I put them in the order of the resin that I used. Uh, this first is actually a mixture that I used from Soraya Tech. It's their ABS-like gray, 80% of that mixed with about 20% of their tenacious, uh, that's the black color tenacious. Um, I use that typically for when I print miniatures. Uh, the next is the Sail C, Funkrickle gray, uh, their red, and then the water washables, but um, the clear and seawater blue. And I'm gonna put one of each in some 99% alcohol, and the other will go into a mixture of one to one ratio of this and water. And we'll see how those clean. Uh, with the detergent, same as with the resin away, you'll want to rinse it off with water afterwards. So there's an extra step involved. I'll do that for that one after. Okay, first things first, let's try and see how much of this there is in milliliters. A little over 1600 milliliters. So you could potentially, for a one to one ratio, make about 3000 liters, which would be as, as much as I have in here. Okay, and since I'm using just a little sandwich baggie, washing fairly small prints, I really don't need a whole lot. So I'm going to do 100, oops, 150 of this, put another 150 
water in there for about 300 milliliters should be plenty. Now we're gonna put our goblins in here. Now, at least for the alcohol ones, we're just gonna take them out and pat them dry. And now for our other guys, they have to go from that now into some water to get cleaned up. Any of the cleaning detergents and things alcohol, whatever you may use. The water now too, you'll want to cure the UV lamp to get all the excess resin cured out of it, filter it out, and then dispose of it. I'm not one to do multiple baths of things, which is why I don't typically use detergents like uh, resin away or uh, things that require me to then rinse it off again later because that takes more time for me and it's a whole nother container, a whole nother thing to clean out later, uh, not another thing of liquid to dispose of. So what I do, no matter what method you use to preserve how long your detergent or your alcohol or whatever your cleaning agent you use to preserve how long that lasts, when you pull the, your print off of your printer, I always use a, a shop towel. You can use whatever you want and, and just kind of dab it and soak up that excess resin off of it. And then I can take my rag after several prints when it gets uh, really saturated, shine that with the UV light, cure that in the rag, toss the rag. But that will make it so that you have a lot less excess resin in your, in your cleaning liquid, no matter what you use. These still look brand new because there really wasn't a whole lot of excess that was getting cleaned off of it. You can use whatever works best for you. So on the left, it's cleaned with alcohol. And on the right is cleaned with the detergent. A lot of places where it hasn't really maybe fully dried on the detergent side after being rinsed. And maybe they need to be rinsed better. Again, why I would say the method probably would have been better, especially for with the detergent and rinsing, scrubbing with a brush to make sure you get all that one resin and two detergent off of it. Okay, this is after scrubbing him clean and it is a little bit better, not as much residue left over still a little bit but so either it doesn't get as much off of it which could be the case it might just be putting more of the soapy stuff on it that you have to get off later which was my big issue with resin away it seemed like that was it was more coating it in stuff rather than uh, rinsing it off because then you got to get the detergent or the resin away or whatever is coating it off of there too Something to keep in mind. So if you want it to actually look good and dry fully, you're gonna have to do a good job of removing the resin and the cleaner. Okay, so with the first test, everything worked okay. There was maybe a little bit of leftover residue and things. So what I did was I did a bunch of prints without first drying off the excess resin and then I put it in there because that's probably what most people are going to do or to also just simulate having doing several washes. And when I pulled them out, there was the, a film and a residue suds everywhere and it was really sticky and it wouldn't come off very well. This to me is comparable to resin away other than I would say maybe this stuff washes off easier. You can at least somewhat tell whether or not it's washing off. Whereas 
at least for me, the resin away was more of a, this is more of a soapy, like a dish soap, whereas the resin away was more like an oil. This is the water, and this is just after two rinses, right? Which you can see against the water that it's sitting in, that is clean water. Okay, and now we're gonna see if we can filter the resin out of the detergent here. Brand new alcohol bottles that are empty. They're dried out, there's nothing in them. A coffee filter to filter the resin out of that. So here's our used detergent. There's some of the resin there at the bottom. So yeah, it looks like those bits actually did solidify a lot better than it does through alcohol. Well, that's kind of straining down. I guess I can just show you that there's the resin in the bottom. It's like completely solidified rather than just turning into like a putty stuff that you then have to wait for it to filter out the alcohol from. So this actually separates a lot better. And there you can kind of see the leftover residue, resin. You can kind of see some, I think it's mostly suds in there moving around, but for all intents and purposes, that's clean and reusable. So overall, the resin was good. It worked really well. Um, it's a little bit lighter in color than most, but it didn't have issues being cleaned with alcohol or with the detergent. The detergent, although more pricey, does uh, have very low odor, and what odor it does have is actually pleasant, and it is non-flammable. Used resin is easier to be cleaned out of it. It will take a lot more rinsing to get rid of the leftover residue, play with different ratios that might work better for you. Overall, safer for the end user. Uh, overall though, not for me. I would just use alcohol. I use less containers and it's faster and the smell doesn't really bother me. And the flammability is not an issue for me. And until next time, go print some cool stuff and make sure that they're nice and clean.